The deterioration of the Sir Julian Hunt Highway has been the subject of scrutiny over the past few months. Potholes continue to emerge, and the torrential rains between August and October have hampered the Department of Infrastructure's road maintenance team's efforts at providing relief to the motoring public. Honorable Stevenson King, Senior Minister and Minister with Responsibility for Infrastructure, Ports and Transport, speaking at the lower house sitting of October 11th, however took aim at the Leader of the Opposition and stated that this should have never been. In 2016, Mr. Ch Mr. Speaker, when the government of which I was part of, which he led, got into office, a loan from the Kuwait government and the OFID was approved with a grant component to reconstruct that road from the Shock Bridge to Grosley as a four-lane highway. Even before giving it consideration, I was told we're not doing this. It will have negative impact on the debt ratio of the country. You hearing me? In 2016. The project's plan included the rehabilitation of agricultural and secondary roads. Loan was approved, grant approved at a ridiculous percentage rate of 4%. All that was there waiting to happen. And the very smart guy, who, the guy who believes he's very smart, said, we're not going to go down that road about the project. If he had taken up the opportunity in 2016, the shock to Grosley Highway would not have been in the condition that it is today. The government of St. Lucia, led by Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre, has, however, renegotiated the agreement with the Kuwaiti government. This government has been able to earn its respect. And this Prime Minister has been able to go back to them, even though they were hesitant, because of the treatment they were given by the then Minister of Tutbagai, <laughs> was able to speak to the Kuwaitis, and sooner than later, we will have approval to continue that program. So Mr. Speaker, not only will the road be reconstructed from Grosley, from Shock to Grosley, but the bypass roads, what we call the back roads, more or less secondary roads, those roads will be looked at so as to allow for greater uh, mobility in the country. Phase two of the Sir Julian Hunt Highway reconstruction and rehabilitation will include the Rodney Bay Highway. Reporting for the Ministry of Infrastructure, Ports, Transport, Physical Development and Urban Renewal, I am Miguel Favre.